so proud of myself. I won bronze in um, community service, silver in visibility, and I was your Mrs. Congeniality. So, um, you know, I, I I take that into consideration because not everybody could be nice, especially in the pageant world. Hi everyone, my name is Catherine Vermeer. I am the CEO of CatsCastings.com, a New York City casting director, a model consultant, and so much more. Um, but today I am going to be talking about um, pageantry, my journey in pageantry briefly. I'll have another video where I get into full detail of how it started but I'll be answering some questions that some of you have sent to me um, about being pageantry and different things um, so let's get started a little bit um, I guess about the pageant world so um, I started out pageants probably back in 2012 um, which means that I started a little late in the game. Uh, most people who start participating in pageants start at a very young age. I know you guys have heard of Toddlers and Tiara. Um, that stuff is absolutely real. There are some pageants who start babies off as uh, young as a couple of months old. Um, and now we have pageants all the way until <laughs> whenever you're able to compete. So um, there is a wide range and there's different systems and I do talk about it sometimes where you need to find the right system for you. There are tons of systems out there. It's not just Miss USA or Mrs. America um, because those are the bigger ones that people usually see. Uh, but there are tons of different pageant systems out there that can fit, you know, your personality or what you want to do. And there are boy pageants as well. So guys don't feel like <laughs> you don't have something to do either um it is there the opportunity is there it just needs to be addressed or you know. so i know it's the summertime and i do have a sweater on it's just a little freezing in my house right now because i have the ac pumping um but definitely let's start getting into uh some of these questions um, how did you start in pageantry? Well, that kind of gets into the, the history of it. Well, I started back in 2012. A friend had asked me um, if I wanted to be in a beauty pageant. And I was like, okay, I'll go with you. Um, it wasn't really a focus of mine. I wasn't really um, actually interested in winning. It was more of, I'm doing this with my friend. Um, as it got like closer to the finals because the pageant actually starts the moment you sign up um and then the finals is usually what people see on tv which is like the swimsuit um people introducing themselves the evening gown you know all that stuff that stuff usually happens at the end this is why it's called the finals um but yeah, through that journey, um, she started to disappear more and more. And once we got towards the end, um, she just wasn't there to compete. She decided she didn't want to do it. Um, and, you know, I competed anyway. I did get third runner-up, which I was really happy about. I'm proud of my journey, especially because, you know, I started so late in the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely that's how I started. Okay, so the next question is, what drives you and keeps you going besides family and friends, uh, role models, and mentors? Okay, that was like a fully loaded question. Let me take a sip of my coffee first. No. Okay. So what drives you and keeps you going besides friends? Okay. Um, it's just reaching your goal. Um, I'm the type of person where I feel that if I set a goal for myself, I want to ultimately 
reach it. So if I'm entering in a pageant system and I like the system, I'm going to continue to compete until I receive what I feel is my highest potential. If I don't think that I could ever win in that particular system, I will move on and go to another system. Um, role models and mentors. Hmm, I kind of don't really look up to any other pageant people, I would say, as a role model. Um, as it comes to mentors, I have two um, that I follow on YouTube. Um, one of them is Alicia Darby. She was Mrs. California way back in like the days, but um, she's really good. She's uh, a known pageant coach. Um, she helps out girls. She gives free courses. She gives paid courses. She does um, personal interview practice. She does on stage question practice. Like, she does so much um, to help people out. And she's pretty still hip to the, the whole digital game, even though she's a little older. She's not that old, so don't take that wrong. <laughs> but um, she does help out a lot. And um, the other person is Danny Walker. So Danny Walker, she's a little younger. She's actually younger than me, but I, I know, I think it's it's funny that I follow her, but she just competed last year in Mrs. USA. She didn't place in the top 15, which I was super sad because I love her and she's amazing. Um, and this year she actually aged out of the USA system, but she's really good. She's really helpful. She's on top of the digital game when it comes to pageantry. So she's more of the upfront, in your face style of pageants. Um, when you're marketing yourself and Alicia Darby is more of the background basic works where she gets into details and she tells you step by step so um, those are kind of like the two main people that I use as mentors um, when I am getting ready to I guess go back into another pageant system or a pageant cycle itself what are your inspirations in life? How can you inspire young women who don't know about self-worth? So the one thing that I do love about um, being in pageants is that it does help you with self-confidence. Um, I do have a problem with public speaking and that's another reason why I continue to do pageants. Um, it's because it helps with my public speaking and it has actually helped me grow with my self-esteem. So as I continue to compete, even if I don't win um, and I only get side prizes, which this year I'm so proud of myself, I won bronze in um, community service, silver in visibility, and I was your Mrs. Congeniality. So, um, you know, I... I I take that into consideration because not everybody could be nice, especially in the pageant world. Because last year, I don't even want to get into that, but <laughs> this year's new year, new year, new me, whatever. Um, but yeah, so with the skills that they teach you and you learn um, every time you enter in a competition or every time you meet someone new, you learn new things and you use those things to build, to connect it to other things that you need to. So um, I would inspire women to participate in pageants and to, you know, build yourself up, especially if you want to be a big figure like in politics or um, you just want to be someone who does speeches or motivational speeches, it helps you and encourages you and gives you the practice stage for when you actually finally make that next step um, into that whole situation. When it comes to self-worth, self, self-worth, um, it helps you build your confidence by you not always being like 100% naked. Um, there are pageant systems that do not have swimsuits or if they do have swimsuits, they allow you to wear one pieces so you can feel comfortable 
um, when it comes to those segments of the pageant. Um, you can definitely build yourself up and, you know, know that you're beautiful the way that you are. Um, more and more systems are not looking at beauty like your facial features because you can add makeup and look great. <laughs> Um, but more of the person on the inside. This is also why it's important when you're picking your mentors that they really know the background work of how the system works and how pageantry is so it can help you relay um, what you're trying to say from the inside and out so people really, really can understand um, what's going on and what you're trying to relay or what you're trying to build or what your next steps are going to be um, outside of the pageant world because um, it can really build it up and you can definitely use that in other things. So um, I think that's it for all the questions that was given to me as um, a current title holder. Uh, my current title right now is Mrs. Empire State. Um, the new pageant season starts August 1st, 1st um, 2019, so I'm not too sure what it's going to be like, what um, what the new title is going to be, if they're allowing me to reign as the same name, um, but we'll see. There's, a, there's new things coming up, and I hope that, you know, if you have more questions, you just let me know. Um, just place a comment down below. Um, I'll have information where you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and all that great stuff. All right, beautiful people. Thank you for your time. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.